so hey guys um i'm actually getting ready to head out but i got a request to do a video on how to date as a single mother so i got my makeup done so i can catfish for the day about to do this hair real quick so I can head out, but I thought it was a good uh, little suggestion idea for a video. So I'll give you guys some tips for uh, the new mothers and the mothers that currently have some little ones. So, um, first I'll just tell you guys a little bit about my situation a quick rundown the father of my child um you know i i knew early on that we were not going to stay together while i was still pregnant and there's nothing wrong with that um people change and you know you kind of snap out of it and you're like you know what i deserve better my child deserves better so <laughs> this probably isn't gonna work out but you see people's character flaws like it's okay um you know no one's perfect so, um there you know there's some things that you should not accept from people so um you know <laughs> after i had my child like in the the hospital i knew off rip like we're not gonna be together coming home from the hospital we were living together and I tried to work it out just to you know give myself confirmation that it's not what I wanted to do and you know everyone tries to stay together with their child's father you know so that they can have their whole family together and their child can have that experience of um, being in a two-parent home, but like there's just some things that like I said before are not okay and uh, You really have to think about your child like what kind of environment do you want your child to be in? so um, I ended up leaving him shortly after and just kind of doing my own thing. I'm just going to give you some tips that I personally recommend um, for new mothers or single mothers. I'm no professional, but <laughs> just from experience, these are my tips. So first off, I want to say if you are a new mother um, and you came into motherhood single or in a situation where you know you're going to leave take time for yourself and take time for your baby i honestly feel like that first year of you having a newborn um even if you're not a first-time mother i feel like you should really focus on yourself your mental health and your your baby that's where all your energy should be going um you know, I know a lot of a lot of mothers deal with postpartum. Fortunately, I did not deal with postpartum depression, but you know, I, I was stressed for sure. But you also want to focus on your life. Like adding a child to the mix of your life is is a huge change. So you have to figure out like how your life works with your baby and you know what doesn't work you need to figure out finances which you should already know ahead of time but like for myself I kind of found out <laughs> kind of late like I, I won't lie and say that I wasn't a little bit oblivious to certain situations but I found out you know I'm going to have to work two jobs to support myself and my child so yeah that first year focus on your stuff your self mental health your body's going to be going through changes so you can focus on your health and 
getting fit or just getting to a size where you feel comfortable. But yeah, that first year, focus on loving yourself and your child or your children. So my second tip, when you do step out into the dating world, um, be cool, okay? Be chill. Like, I know some homeboys that are hesitant to date mothers because, you know, first date, they are very forward and they're like, you know, I'm looking for somebody to marry and that can support me and my child. That's a no. <laughs> that is a no. I don't care how well you know a person. I don't care if it's like a dude that has been waiting for his opportunity to get a chance to date you and stuff like that. It's a whole new ball game when you have a child. So don't bring that up. If it is someone new, definitely don't bring that up on the first date. Don't bring it up on the second date. Don't bring it up on the third date. Like, don't bring that up until you actually get to date and know the person and know that, you know, you want to keep them around for a long period of time or a lifetime. My uh, third little tip is let the other person that you're talking to if it's a new person let them know i say on the first encounter or the first you know real conversation that you are a mother and i think you should do that out of respect for the other person you never know some people they don't like kids some people don't want kids who which I haven't really ran across people that don't like kids and don't want kids, but you know, it is a thing and don't judge them for that. There's also people that want to start their own family. I would just say, let it be known ahead of time. Um, I've also <laughs> had a situation. I dated a guy that had a child a full-blown child that was like four and he didn't tell me until six months into uh into us dating so that <laughs> that hurt me like i don't get emotional or like hurt easily because usually i just don't care but for someone to know that i have a child and then for me to find out from someone else because they slid in my dms and, and i'm like what's going on and then he finally just came out was like i have a son i was like all right bro you haven't mentioned any kid this entire time i don't believe you and then he sends me a picture and i just like lost it and broke down crying so do not <laughs> be that person like be straight up like don't try the whole Drake situation. This was years ago before Drake's um, I'm not hiding my baby from the world. I'm hiding the world from my baby type situation. I feel like that's an excuse. So the only people that knew about his child was close family. His best friends didn't know. Um, it was just a mess. It was, it was such a hot mess. Um, that brings me to my next tip don't introduce your child to the person you're dating early okay because kids can get attached you might not even like that person and and then you have to like cut them off out of the situation and then you have to detach your child from the situation and it gets messy so my best advice would be don't introduce anyone to your child until <laughs> like i kind of have a three month rule like if i do not like you in three months then you gotta go because i'm wasting my time i'm wasting your time you know i feel like three months is a good length to get to know three months you can usually see a person's 
personality. You can um, see their likes, their dislikes. You can see them angry, like how they react. That is a huge thing. Like you have to see how they react to certain situations because that can be a red flag. So I recommend to not introduce your child to someone. Um, I would say minimum four months, but I feel like six months is a little bit safer. So you wanna make sure that you like him, that he likes kids, that he would do well with kids. He doesn't freak out, he's not a creep. Um, he's not abusive verbally, mentally, emotionally, um, definitely physically. Did I say physically already? Make sure you have a better understanding of who you're dating because it can be so dangerous. Like I'm so protective over who I bring my child around and my child has not met a lot of people that I've dated because I... I'm, I'm against it. Another tip is do not serial date. So to add to that, don't just keep dating guys back to back and keep throwing different guys in front of your child's life and in front of their face and letting them get attached. Like don't lie to your child and say, oh, this is your uncle or this is your cousin. That's weird and it's confusing. So just don't is tacky. Just try to keep it cute a little bit and be responsible. I believe in dating multiple people at once, not getting physical, but I believe in dating multiple people at once so that you can do process of elimination. That's how I got my boyfriend now. And that's basically how he got me. So <laughs> is, you know, when once you do bring your child around, um, once the person that you're dating says, they feel comfortable and they bring it up like hey i'd really like to meet your child get to know them once you do introduce them you know keep it light <laughs> do not force your child onto your man or your girl whatever you're into and do not force your significant other onto your child like let that come naturally yeah, let them grow their own little bond and let it flourish if it works out it works out if they don't get along that's a red flag cut them off sometimes it's the kids that don't like your significant others sometimes they don't like your significant other for a legit reason so pay attention to your child like put your child first do not put that other person that you're dating first like that is definitely a no-no they might be on to some pay attention to your children don't be desperate and putting your child's feelings and emotions in the back while you're trying to fall in love in the front don't be that mother like you got to put your priorities straight get your priorities right okay so like i said let the other person your significant other let them bring it up when they feel comfortable to come around your child and when you feel comfortable as well like it should be a mutual situation my last tip do not leave your child or your children with the person you're dating don't leave them alone until you guys are like legit secure legit in a relationship um what you guys want from the relationship and the goal for the relationship is all the way out there front and center and you actually feel comfortable with that person 110%, you really trust that person, then it's okay after you guys, you know, discuss everything, but do not be using that, that person you're dating as a babysitter. Like that is so irresponsible as well, because people are crazy. So yeah, I think that's all my tips, um, cause I gotta get out of here very soon, but I hope that my advice and my tips help someone that is new to this dating game or they've been dating and they just need a refresher of what to do so yeah i will see you guys soon i hope you enjoyed this video leave me a comment subscribe but yeah i will talk to you guys soon <laughs> bye